Relationships are the thing these days. But how about taking it a notch higher and reading vows and placing rings on each other's finger? Sweet, right? Here is a beautiful story of a man who prefers the direct opposite of marriage, painting us a picture of how it is like to live in solitude. My name is Harrison Mumia, a bachelor, 43 years old. Uh, currently, I do work at a, a healthcare facility as a digital marketer. My father and mother were married. I grew up in a normal family of mother, father, and five children. Harrison says he sees no reason to marry and goes ahead to support his own words, kicking us off at a high note. To be honest, I do not like order. Like in terms of, you know, now you have a wife, you have like a structure, and now there's this and that. That is too much order, I don't like it. Let there be disruption. This disruption is what is going to make me even see things a new way. The ladies who wanted me to be their husbands have run away from these ladies because they have wanted to pull me into marriage and have been like, no, this is not my life. So when you live with someone, partner, wife, husband, there are certain things that you're trying to bring together. The wife expects a certain way the house needs to be clean. Ukiacha socks up, issue. Ukiacha box up, issue. Like there's a way when you're living together, everybody has a, their own expectations. Yeah. yeah. But I think as living alone is good because I'm not answerable. I'm not trying to fit into somebody's You get. I'm not trying to conform to a marriage lifestyle yeah. where this is the most important person in your life and this is the only person who you should like this one thing <laughs> comes before he explains his side of beauty of staying alone you can live on a very low budget yeah i can have a saving structure i can save more money than than some of these married couples we live a life and everybody wants to structure those small things in their own way in terms of sex i think one of the reasons why uh, i'm so against marriage is that it limits the scope to which you will explore your uh, sexual needs and that, that to me is a problem. I don't get bored because my sex life is a bit more dynamic. I'm the president of the Atheist in Kenya Society. I'm working. I want to write a book. I want to do YouTube videos. I want to travel. I'm able to explore my deepest aspirations as a single person. Do you have any kids? Yeah, I have a son, yeah. This, this, this Somali lady, Boa son, very handsome son. How is it like raising the son? So she lives with, the, with my son, so we are doing co-parenting. I do my bit. I mean, he visits me, um, comes here once in a while. We spend some time together. Yeah. yeah. My hope is that um, people are going to gradually be more individualistic and realize that the world expects more from them uh, than just them having this narrow scope of life. We want people to do more things and be freer than what they are right now.